Welcome to Power Driven Diesel. In this episode, we're going to be testing the Borg Warner uh, SXE364. With this turbo, we're going to have the .70 housing, and this turbocharger has the popular 68 millimeter wheel. Uh, we're trying to go for a quick spooling as we can for a little bit more power than the 362 can support. Uh, like all SXE turbos, this 364 comes standard with a 360 thrust bearing. It has the billet compressor wheel and the larger compressor cover. Uh, what we're going to do on this one is going to do we're going to do two tests like the other ones. We're going to do a, a 1300 to 3200 RPM uh, unloaded run, just the weight of the rollers, 3500 pounds. Then we're going to do a loaded run at about 5,000 pounds of load, and we're going to run that from 1800 to about 2800 RPM to see how the turbo responds, how quickly it responds to uh, throttle input while you're cruising, cruising down the road. Then what we're going to do is we're going to overlay the graphs on top of the 362. We're going to see uh, which one does better where. We're going to find out uh, how they compare. So what we're going to do now is just do our first um, run of uh, 1,300 to 3,200 RPM. And uh, with that, let's get on it. Okay, I'm going to walk over to the computer so I can see what Lonan's doing with these graphs. We'll talk about what's going on. So, what was our peak power as we scroll over this thing? What are we at here? Where's peak power? What RPM? What do we hit? 583, 582, 20, about 2500 ish RPM. So, this is we. This is the exact same day we tested the 362. We picked up about 20 horsepower, 25 horsepower, give or take. It's a little bit hotter. We did the SXC 62 in the morning. It's a little bit hotter now. We picked up about 20 horsepower. Everything about this turbo is exactly the same as the 62, except the compressor. Same turbine housing, same turbine wheel. The only difference is a little bit more uh, compressor flow. What I want to do now, let's overlay the 362, the 364. We're going to try to overlay these same runs so we can kind of see uh, where one's better and worse and so forth. So let him pull this up one second. So on this, what we're looking at here is the 62 versus the 64. You can see the 62 spooled up quicker, which I could really feel that in the truck. I kind of felt sluggish to me. It doesn't show a ton on the dyno, but you can see how much better it holds that torque curve as it goes past. And the, and the horsepower just doesn't fall near as fast as the 62. It's just simply have more compressor flow. And so um, at about 1,700 RPM, you can see there's a pretty good difference in torque, but power is not too much different. So uh, it fell a little sluggish compared to the 62, but not not bad. Um, it's pulled up pretty good actually, and you can see here on the graph it's like a huge difference. The 62 comes on quicker, um, but overall there's not a gigantic difference in power. You know, before peak, after peak, the 64 definitely holds it. And uh, anyway, now we're gonna go run a, do a test with the 5,000 pound load. 
see how quickly it responds. And uh, we'll overlay that with the 62 as well, so we can get a real direct comparison. Again, the only difference in these is the compressor wheel. That's it. So uh, we'll see what kind of power it makes different as well. Okay, let me walk over from the truck and I'll get over in front of that computer screen. We can look at these graph. Um, all right, so our peak horsepower and torque numbers for this run looks like we're at about 571 on the peak horsepower. Our peak torque was 1318. 1318. So we're over 1300 foot pounds to the ground. Uh, look, look at that graph. The horsepower holds real nice and flat. Uh, it's it's going to be a real fun ride there, all the way up to you know that's 2800 RPM that we recorded to. Uh, it's still pulling hard and haven't lost a lot of power. It looks like we're still over 500 horse, we're over 530 horsepower all the way to 2800 RPM. So it's still just rocketing, even at that RPM. So it really holds the power nice. Um, uh, the, the time it takes. Let's look at our time. So from zero seconds, how long does it take to go from zero, starting to peak torque? We're right about 3.57, so three and a half seconds. So from that roll on to peak torque is about three and a half seconds. So now let's let's get that 362, and let's overlay that graph, and let's let's compare uh, how it did to the 364. Okay. So when we're looking at these numbers, we can see the 62 on this graph definitely came on quicker. Uh, the torque jumps a lot faster. The horsepower jumps faster, and I'd say the dyno I could feel it. I, I definitely uh, felt when I was testing the 62 that it came on quicker on this test compared to the 64 and it shows in the graph. We can see the torque holds out better on the 64 and that gives us our little power advantage. And um, so the 62 beats it below, what, how many seconds? Up to about, about three. So if you're doing a roll on with your buddy, um, you're gonna be behind for three and a half seconds until you start overtaking them if you have the 64 versus the 62. Uh, now let's look at which one is overall better. We have uh, the 64 wins up top, the 62 wins in the bottom. Let's see which one uh, gives us the most power into the curve. All right, run number one, right there, that's a 364. So our average torque on this guy is 1,038. Our average power is 457. On the 362, our average torque is 1,047, and our horsepower is 463. So in these two tests, the, four, the 362 actually makes more overall or more average power than the 364. Um, that, that could be simply a hotter part of the day. You know, if we if we tested the 64 in the morning, it may be it may have been a tie. Obviously, the 62 is going to come on quicker, but the 64 may have held it out longer. Uh, basically, I'd say this is this is almost a tie, which is not too surprising because they have the same turbine side, the 0.70 uh, housing and the 68 millimeter wheel is definitely. Uh, you know the the small kind of small for these turbos, and um, but it yields really good spool up. So you're kind of compromising with that small housing. Uh, if you want the 0.7064, it's a good spooling turbo. It holds the peak power a little bit better, and the 62 obviously comes on quicker. So um, depending on your goals, uh, you know you may want the 62 or the 64. And so anyway, that's that's the test on this one. If you have any questions, feel free to call us here at Power Driven Diesel. Uh, at 435-962-9555. Uh, we love talking turbos, or go to our website, powerdrivendiesel.com. And um, 
we can uh, help you out if you need to. Thanks. Thank you.